G'day folks, I've got something special for you now. This is how to dismantle a Xerox A Color 935 full color photocopier. The purpose of this video is to show hobbyists roughly what they can get out of large photocopying machines like this one. I notice not no not everybody has access to a pickup truck or trailer to transport these things or knows where to get them, but generally most photocopier shops will give them to you and They'll just be happy to get rid of them, basically. If not, check your local scrap yards. It might cost you a couple of bucks, but... Again, they'll probably be happy to give it to you because they've got so much plastic and crap in them, they're not really classed as steel scrap. This one here has additional equipment with it. It was probably a very pricey system in its day. It has a tablet. Um, there we go, we're warmed up takes forever to warm up. It also has this computer system over here by Silicon Graphics USA. It's a nice big Sony Trinitron monitor and this little Macintosh based PC. I'll get that booted up in a minute and show you what that's actually for. It acts as part of the print server as well as graphic editing and other little features. There were other tablets and interface devices for this but I've chucked them all out. Basically this unit was condemned because it had been dropped. I don't know how or where, but somehow they dropped it and the print controller stopped working and all the colours just got messed up. So everything's out of whack. The uh, colour transfer units are out of alignment. It's basically not really worth fixing. It's done a lot of pages. I mean a hell of a lot of pages. There's a myriad of components inside, inside these things, but I'll get into that later. Right now I'll show you how the machine actually works. From the control point of view anyway. A digital scanner. I'm not sure if this is going to feed the paper. It's been out overnight. It might be a bit damp. This one here actually has to scan once for every color, which is four scans before it can print, whereas other copiers have color separation and recognition software in them and they'll just do one scan and then automatically detect what color's what. So I'll tell it, yeah, it's on automatic so it can tell it's black and white. So you can't even detect the original size. It's a bit of a lemon but it works to a degree. On A4. No. No. That might help. That must have happened last night. Let's just see if we can make a copy. Papers a bit had it. I think this thing's a bit muddled up. That's why it's been in the junk pile for the last 12 months. Paper stuff that doesn't help. There we go. It's doing something. Nope, another jam. Oh well, to hell with fiddling with this thing, let's get this thing apart. Let's just see if we can get this thing to boot up. Sounds promising. It 
seems to be Macintosh based. The actual computer looks like an uh, old Power Mac or Apple Mac Pro or something like that. I don't deal with apples much, but that's sort of what it looks like. It's working. Pretty interesting program. I imagine if the printer was plugged in we could go into the ripping or printing panels or whatever they are. But none of that actually works on the printer so there's no point in plugging it in. Manager. Shell. Log report, preferences, Cyclone RGL, Xerox Regal, Interface Type, Tray Selection, Paper Type, Feeder, hmm. Version. Color bus. No. Xerox color laser copier. No. Cyclone version 2.0. Serial number. Processor. MIPS R5000 PC150. Available memory 35 meg of 96 meg. Operating system is IRIX 5.3. IRIX color calibration dates in the mid 90s memory manager majestic driver stormwatch server hmm, apple talk software <laughs> definitely apple based so, disk uh, close so, the color bus system what else we got That'll do for now, I suppose. I'll play with this thing later. 